Good morning, Koi Copter 101 here. Before we get started, let's get the shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Any App, Any Game. Any App, Any Game was the first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, congratulations. So, what do I got for you today? This is the new Buying Toys uh, X22. What's so special about the Buying Toys X22? First of all, it seems to be, you know, the Buying Toys X21, but with a major difference. They've added a three-axis gimbal. No kidding, an actual three-axis gimbal on this quadcopter uh, with a 1080p camera. Um, that's pretty darn cool that they were able to implement that on this particular drone. Uh, what What's special about this drone? Well, this drone has GPS. It's one of the G, uh, Bang's GPS drones. It essentially is an X21. You know, the <laughs> same thing as the X21. Uh, it ha does have follow me. It does have circle me. It does have waypoint capability through its app. Um, it's supposedly double GPS, which means its controller also has a uh, GPS built into it, like the X21. Um, I haven't seen any documentation on that, and its instructions didn't mention the same buttons as the X21 for follow me. We'll try it out and see if it actually works by pressing... I'll, I'll go over the controller here shortly. We'll talk about that when I get to the controller. But as, again, it is the X21. Um, it is powered through this plug here, this uh, three-axis gimbal, through this plug, and, and controlled through that. You can raise and lower the gimbal's view. Um, the power for this is... Pretty large battery. It's a 3S, uh, how many milliamp hour? 2200 milliamp hour battery in the back here, 30C battery. Um, it's kind of a common battery. You should be able to find replacement batteries for this. It's very similar, I guess, to the, uh, well, let's just say you should be able to find replacement batteries for this. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, let's go over the controller. The controller has a lot of buttons on it. Uh, this is for rates, for ch you know, changing the speed of the, the quadcopter. You can tell it to uh, do a landing by pressing this button here, and it will land wherever it's at. Um, this button here, this would be normally a throttle trim button, but this raises and lowers the gimbal. So this is the gimbal control here. Um, the buttons here, this is for taking a photo. This is for start and stop in videos. This center button is your one key return buttons. So if you're, you're out and about and you want it to come back to you and land, press that button there. Um, it does have a headless mode, which you activate by pressing this button here. Now, there's some other buttons. This, These were the X21 buttons. I don't know if they actually work on this drone here, but we'll find out because these weren't listed in the instruction manual. But this button here on the X21 would turn GPS on and off, so if you wanted to turn off GPS and fly altitude hold, you'd press that button there. Uh, these buttons here were in the dual GPS version of the X21. Uh, again, the X21's controller had a GPS built into it. I don't know if this one does or not. We'll find out here shortly, and the way we'll find out is by pressing these buttons here. This button is follow me, and this button here is circle me, and we'll see if those actually work. So that is the quadcopter. Um, we're going to fly it now, and also using its FYD GPS app available in Google Play and iTunes and see how it performs. So first thing we're going to need to do, as with all GPS drones, is do a compass calibration. And the way to initiate a compass calibration is to move this stick down and to the left and this stick up and to the right while it's connected to the drone and then do rotations. Now the rotations that this drone they recommend doing is figure eights of the drone like this while you're turning around. And I'll show you that here shortly. It's, it's another specialized compass dance. But Okay, let's fire it up and see how it performs. And to fire it up, we plug in its power like so. Now, this drone beeps whenever there's uh, power is to it. And that's the, the idea is to remind you to unplug that battery before, you know, putting this up for storage somewhere. Let's see if I can get the cables inside there. But hear that beep? That's, that's an alert that you have a battery connected. So, okay, let's turn on the control or the drone and put it on a flat level surface. Turn on the controller and see if it actually binds to the controller. There we go. It's bound. Now, after about eight seconds, the uh, gimbal initializes. Right now, the gimbal is initialized. Let's raise it up a bit. The way you raise it is repeatedly bump that switch there. 
Okay, we need to do a compass calibration. And to activate that, we move this stick down to the left and this stick up and to the right until you hear the beep and you get rapid blinking on the quadcopter. Now this is the figure eight. You hear that? It's done. <laughs> so what I did, folks, again, was I just do a figure eight motion while I rotate. And that eventually does the compass calibration. So we're done there. And right now it's searching for satellites. And I heard a beep, beep, beep. What did that mean? It means we got 14 satellites. So we're good to go. When you hear the, the triple beep and you get solid lights on the drone, that means we have sufficient satellites. So we're ready to go. Now we can fly this using the controller alone, but I'm going to fire up its app. So hold on. Okay, this is the FYD GPS app available on Google Play and iTunes, and we hit play, and that should bring up our app here, and I'm there. Now we see FPV. <laughs> I was worried there for a second because we weren't seeing FPV. Okay, let's go over the app. Um, we do have a lot of telemetry information on the top of the screen there, like height, distance, altitude, speed, um, numbers, uh, GPS, satellites, latitude and longitude, uh, pitch roll yaw of the drone, and it's a uh, signal uh, reception. And if we go under settings, it brings up a lot of other parameters here. Uh, we, you know, we have uh, control of the remote, pan, tilt, zoom, gyro, headless mode, <laughs> parameters. You can set uh, uh, geofence in here. Um, actually, I think these parameters are more or less when you're, you're flying it uh, with... Um, follow me and circle me these these parameters mainly ap apply like the maximum radius for circle me is 60 meters and maximum height during those circle me is 60 meters um, map mode you can set up the different coordinates for the map you can select standard satellite mixing now I, but I've been having problems getting uh, Google to work with this Google Maps so I'm not sure that it actually works with this same with a lot of other drones, I, I've been noticing recently that Google Maps has not been working properly with their app. So I, I got some concerns about that working in the U.S. But right now, let's start the video camera. And uh, the way I'm going to do that is use the app to start the video recording. Recording has started. Let's see if I can stop the video recording now by using this button here. Did it stop? No, it did not. So the button on the controller is not working in terms of turning the video on and off because it's still recording. But let's take to the air. Starting the motors by down and out. Let's see if that stops the motors too. That stops the motors also. So down and out to start and stop the motors. And make sure we are recording again because the recording apparently did stop. <laughs> it took a bit. Taking to the air, giving a throttle. And let's check how well that uh, compass calibration was. Well, it seems to be relatively steady, folks. Am I still recording? I'm still recording. So I'll get in the video here, do a couple of these, and say, how do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> okay, first thing we're going to try is range. Let's see how far out we can go. And going up higher. Now, I forgot to mention the FPV here that I'm seeing on my phone is 5.8 or 5G Wi Fi. 802.11 AC Wi Fi, folks. You need an 802.11 AC Wi Fi capable phone to be able to uh, see the Wi Fi and use this app. Let's pop it right there, folks. And I'm trying to see what the distance is. Well, I can see it on my controller, too. 174 meters, 20 meters up. So we can either use the app, which is very tiny, or we can use the LCD screen on the controller to see how far out we are. Pushing forward again. 20 meters up. That's a big drone. And we are 222 meters out. 248 meters out. I still got FPV, folks, going up a bit higher so I can keep it above the tree line, or the, the uh, ridge in the background. 
342 meters out. And that's our distance, okay? So that's about as far out as I can go before it loses the control, <laughs> uh, controller signal. And it's coming back on its own, it appears, apparently. Let me see here. 283, 284 meters. No, it's, it's regained signal again, but that's about as far as it goes. Let's try to go again. I'm pushing forward again. 292 meters. 309 meters at. Getting closer. 350 meters at. Trying to get to those. There we go again. <laughs> so max range is about 350 meters on this. It's trying to do a return to home again. Let's see if, if it actually will complete the return to home or just plops. It'll once it regains signal of the controller, it plops itself there and stays there. Let's do a manual return to home. Hitting the button. Return to home button activated. And let's see how accurate that return to home is. And how's my battery? Battery power looks good. Here it comes back. Let's see how accurate the return to home and landing is. A big black quadcopter in the sky. And here it comes back down. Let's see how accurate. This does have GPS glow mass on it, so it its GPS system should be relatively good, relatively accurate. And it's coming down the last few feet. <laughs> About six feet up. We'll touch that pad. And there we go. There we go. <laughs> Return to home off. So that's, that's pretty darn good, folks. That's pretty darn close to where it took off from. So let's take to the air again. Let's try the follow me's. Let me stop that video that we recorded. Looks like it stopped itself. I'm not sure why it keeps stopping itself. Start recording. Recording has started. And starting the motors again. Taking to the air again. And I'm going to get into the picture here. And then I'm going to press this follow me button. Or the X21 follow me button. And see if it actually works for the X22 also. So stepping back and pressing follow me. No, nope, this button does not work like the X21. We're going to have to use the app to do the follow me. And to do that, we press this and then press that follow me. And we should be following. And <laughs> it is following. <laughs> Let me switch back to this picture. Yep, there I am. Let's see if it'll run away from me. It's got a wide angle lens on it. Let's see if we can lower that gimbal a bit. What did I just do? I activate a follow me for some reason. Its battery isn't low, is it? Flight over the air power alarm. Yep, low battery. So I'm getting out of the way of it. Let's press the land button. Bringing it back down. I don't know why I did that, folks. Bringing it by, back down. I don't think we're low power. At least it doesn't say so on my transmitter. And I'm looking for the uh, warning signal on my controller. I'm not seeing it. But flight over the air, power alarm. Let me let go of the stick and see if it stops itself there. Okay, let's try circle me while we still got some power left. Circle position. 
power alarm cannot do it. So when it gets low power, it can't do these other features, unfortunately. So we're going to land it. I guess that's that's its flight time, folks. Is it blinking? Yeah, it's blinking, and now it's landing itself. Let's go up a bit higher. But its lights are blinking. So I'm going to try to land it. And my my controller is vibrating now, letting me know also that it's low power. So you get a uh, low power warning and a controller uh, vibration. And I'm also getting a call from a telemarketer right now. <laughs> Telemarketers calling me out here in the desert. Okay, so what happens when this thing um, gets low battery? It jumps up in the air, gives you an alert uh, that you've reached a low battery status. Um, it doesn't fly very long as compared to others. It got pretty darn good distance, about 350 meters over there. Um, turned to home is extremely accurate, so this dual GPS, I think they're talking about dual GPS of uh, GPS and GLONASS inside this. I tried pressing these uh, follow and circle me buttons that the X21 has. This actually works on the X21. You press these and it'll do follow me and circle me, but it didn't seem to do that with this particular drone. I had to use the app. So, other than that, the X21 has this nice, fancy three-axis gimbal. I hope it came out well in its flight. You know, it's uh, the recorded video that I got from it. But uh, all in all, you know, it's nice to see a, these toy grades start to come out with three-axis gimbals. That's just really cool. Let's put it in there. So this is Quadcopter 101. I hope you enjoyed this flight today. Quadcopter 101. Signing out.